The hidden risks of the hidden job market. Although the hidden job market can certainly bring benefits through targeting ideal candidates, it's worth bearing in mind that this method of recruitment carries risks. One particular risk is a lack of diversity in the workplace. Diversity is a phrase often acknowledged within the workplace, but perhaps not always actively implemented. In not putting diversity on the agenda when hiring, business owners are potentially losing out. Whilst birds of a feather may well flock together, is there not something to be said for looking beyond your flock? Scientists estimate that there are roughly between 9,000 and 10,000 species of birds, each of which live, feed and thrive in vastly different and exciting ways. The same can be said of people. Diversity brings to the table a whole host of new ways of doing things. Bringing in fresh viewpoints often leads to accepted practices and conventional ways of thinking being challenged and tested. Without this, a business risks losing its vitality and dynamism. As Malcolm Forbes once said, diversity is the art of thinking independently together. But a move away from the hidden job market isn't just about opening up to a more diverse range of individuals. There are other, far more alarming problems that a narrow search can run your business into. To put the pitfalls of the hidden job market into perspective, let's imagine that you are purchasing a car. This can often be a lengthy process, requiring in-depth research and assurance that a lemon isn't being purchased. Without putting in the effort, you'll be sure to encounter many hidden costs later on, with whole parts perhaps needing to be replaced for the car to function. Thus, any cost or energy saved by not thoroughly researching your purchase will be outweighed by the later inconvenience and cost of having to rectify any problems. In the same way, recruiting on the hidden job market could lead to a lemon employee, draining money and time through the loss of potential productivity. Of course, this method of recruitment can equally bring benefits for businesses. Principally, it's a way of cutting out potentially unnecessary bureaucracy and reducing costs while still arriving at the objective of hiring a new employee. Moreover, it mustn't be forgotten that at the heart of hidden recruitment is the fact that this is simply the process of networking and meeting new contacts. It is therefore clear that the solution isn't a ban of this practice. However, I do believe that we need to start asking ourselves some questions. Should we not be searching beyond our flock in order to ensure that we not only have the right candidates, but a range of skills and opportunities? Do you think there are risks associated with the hidden job market?